Hey, I'm Spencer. This is River Certified. Oh, my lens is dirty. That's better, I think. Anyway, so I figured this would be a great time to show you how to use my favorite, but biggest pain in the butt. It's a big pain in the butt, but my favorite rig for flathead catfish at night. The float paternoster rig. Check it out. So pretty much everything I have right now is channel cat stuff. So for flatheads, you'd want to, you know, do the one size bigger. But the stuff you need, you need a bobber stop regardless. I like pink. I think it's a uh, very confident color. Need a couple beads. Need a swivel. You need a hook. You do need a bobber. That's kind of important too. I forgot to throw that one in there. And you need a sinker. And I like bank sinkers for this. Just because, well, you'll see in a sec. So, your pink bobber stop, like I said, essential. Slide it on the line. Pop the insert out the bottom. Tighten it up. Okay, step one, check. Then you need your bead. Slide your bead on the line. Okay, check. Bobber stop, bead. Then you need your slip float. Thread your slip float onto your line. Sometimes easier said than done. That was pretty sweet. Okay, cool. We're to that point. Now I like another bead. Seems to work better. Now I attach my swivel. I use braided line almost, well I do use braided line exclusively for catfishing. So I like a polymer knot. When you trim your fishing line, it's important you have a pair of scissors covered in scale, scales and dried blood. The grosser the better. That's one of the, another one of those little tips and tricks. Most of those old timers won't tell you. Those old river rats don't tell you everything. All right, here's where it gets fun. So, cut you off a piece of line for your hook. You know, I would say, you know, six inches to a foot. Now, I'm gonna tie my hook on the other end of the swivel. Now you're probably like, Spencer, what weight is gonna pull the line through the slip float? Well, that's a really good question. Fortunately, I still have my sinker. Now you're probably thinking, Spencer, you forgot to put the sinker on the line. That's a pretty fair assumption, except I didn't. So I have my sinker, my other piece of line. Take it, and usually I want this line to be lighter. So if I, like I got 85 pound braid main line here, and then I would normally run a 50 pound leader right here. And then for this one, I'm using like 14, 20, 30, something lighter than my leader line. And then I'm using a really heavy sinker, like a sinker that would sink this bobber. So for flathead fishing with a big live bait, I'm gonna use a four or five ounce, or sometimes I'll even use like two four ounces. Tie that on. All right, this is where it gets kind of crazy. I take this, I'm gonna tie it right here. The same part as my leader. If you're like, dude, that's gonna tangle up. Yeah, it does tangle up. That's why it's a pain in the butt. But it, this fish didn't care because this rig works. So what you have here, it's like a drop shot, basically. You got your bait. Hanging up here, flopping around, doing its thing. And down below it is your weight sitting on the bottom. Simulate sitting on the bottom. Sinker's on the bottom. Bait's up here, flopping around, suspended. And then your bait, your bobber, your bobber is up above it, holding it up. 
Now what this does is, why it's such a good rig, is a suspended bait struggles and struggles and struggles and struggles way more than a bait just chilling on the bottom. This is a pain in the butt to cast. Um, it's a pain in the butt to cast accurately. But if you're fishing on shore and current and you have a bunch of weight on the bottom, you're using like a four to eight ounce sinker, it's going to stay put. It's going to stay closer to the channel drop off. And you're going to have a much, much more active bait. And you're going to catch way more fish. Now, Whisker Seeker makes a lighted bobber, which works really slick for this. It's called the LED Night Striker, and it's battery powered, and the battery lasts forever, and then you don't have to worry about glow sticks. Now, you don't need to necessarily see your bait, see your bobber. You can just turn your bait clicker on. I like the lighted bobber because then I can make sure this thing doesn't tangle up my other lines. A few other little tips and tricks with this. This either needs to be your shortest casted bait or your furthest casted bait because they will still move around and still can get tangled up in the line. So I guess if you have any more questions, comment in the comment section below. And actually, I mean, let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want to learn about. And it's going to be a long, cold winter and I'm going to need ideas for videos. So, And I can only go ice fishing so much. <laughs> either way, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you around.